In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play and optimize Genshin Impact on Linux. Are you having problems with the frame deviation in Genshin Impact or even the mouse sensitivity where it's too high that the game just becomes unplayable? Or are you having micro stutters or even screen tearing in the game? Or maybe you've been wanting to play Genshin Impact on Linux and you just want to say, hey, screw Windows. Then this video will do just that. So without wasting your time, let's get into it. So this video is pretty much going to be divided into three parts. The first part that you're watching now is the installation process of Genshin Impact. The second part would be the optimization. So I'll show you simple options to optimize the game to give you a better 60 FPS. And the third would be the results. So I'll show you before and after the game was optimized. As for the installation process, there are two ways you can store the game on Linux. You can use Epic Games Launcher, which is the one I recommend, or you can use Hero Games Launcher, which is something I don't recommend, but it's up to you which launcher you want to use at the end. In order to get Epic Games Launcher, we'll need Lutris, and in order to get Lutris, we'll need the App Center. So all you need to do is to type App Center if you're running Ubuntu, if you're running Linux Mint, it's going to be Software Manager or any application that allows you to download software. If you're running another Linux distribution, you want to click that. Then you want to go to the search bar and type Lutris. Once you found Lutris, you can pretty much install the application and wait for it to be installed. Now in other Linux distributions, you might not have a problem finding Lutris. But if you do, for example, in my case, I couldn't find Lutris in Ubuntu. Don't worry, I'm going to show you another way of installing Lutris through the terminal. Alternatively, you could go to Lutris website and then find the right Linux distribution and then go to GitHub and install the dev package. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I am going to show you the safer way of installing Lutris or any other application which is the terminal. Just open the terminal and then type sudo apt get update. What this will do is to pretty much fetch updates if there are any updates available in your system and then you'll just install them. Then you want to type sudo add hyphen apt hyphen repository ppa colon lotris hyphen team slash lotris. Then you want to type enter. For me, Lutris is already installed in my system, so I'm not going to install it. But once you do, all you want to do is to type sudo apt install Lutris, and then it's going to install all of the packages for it. Once that's done, all you need to do is to go to your start menu, then type Lutris, and you should be able to see Lutris running in the background. The next thing to do is to pretty much install a big game store. Now you should be able to see a plus sign that is because you don't have it installed yet. In my case, I already do. If you see a plus sign, just click on it and then follow the instructions for installing Epic Game Store. Once you're done, you should be able to open Epic Game Store and you should be able to see the GUI of it. And you can pretty much go to the search bar, type Genshin Impact and you can install the game. The second way of installing Genshin Impact is through Heroic Games Launcher. To do that, simply go to your software manager and then type Heroic Games Launcher and you should be able to see it. So install it. Once it's done installing, then you want to open it and then log into your account. And then you want to look for Genshin Impact. And once you do, you can pretty much install the game. The second part would be optimizing the game. So I'm going to show you a few options you can use to optimize your game in order to play at a battery 60 fps now in lutris the auto configurations that it sets for any game including Genshin impact you shouldn't have a problem trying to launch the game when you launch it you might notice that the mouse sensitivity is a bit too high if you're playing on mouse and keyboard or you might notice that the frame deviation is a little bit off as in it's not capped at 60 fps it's just going from 50 to 59 to 60 and whatever. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the mouse sensitivity. For those that play Genshin Impact on a controller, 
you can skip this part and watch at this section now open the terminal and then you want to type x input and you should be able to see a list of devices that are connected to your computer through usb or other ports that it's connected to the only device that we're going to pay attention to is the gaming mouse so in my case i'm using a cooler master mm710 you may be using a different mouse so you might be using a logitech mouse or even a glorious o mouse a final mouse or razor mouse whatever mouse you're using you should be able to see it in the terminal if you do then that's a good thing if you don't see your gaming mouse listed or any device that's listed so if you're seeing like generic mouse or generic device then you are most likely running a wayland server in fact if you type the x input command on a desktop server like wayland then you might get a warning saying hey you're trying to run this on a x wayland server now for me to explain to you what a desktop server is and why these two desktop servers even exist that is beyond the scope of this video so if you do get a warning in the terminal and in order to switch from x wayland to zorg simply log out then you want to click on the account and before you enter your password you should be able to see a setting icon at the bottom right of your screen then you have the option to choose either ubuntu which is wayland or ubuntu zorg which is the actual zorg desktop server open the terminal and then you want to type the x input and you should be able to see the name of your gaming mouse now what you want to do is to type x input list hyphen props and then the id of your gaming mouse in my case it's number 10 for you it might be different so whatever number you have just enter that and then type enter and you should be able to see a bunch of stuff listed don't worry we're not going to focus on every single thing listed here we're only going to focus on two things that is this one and this one now what you want to do is to open a text editor and you want to copy paste these commands in the text editor and i will leave these commands in the description the first thing we're going to do in these commands is we're going to change the name of our gaming mouse so that when we do this it's actually going to take effect so in my case since i'm using a cooler master mm710 all you want to do is go to your terminal and then whatever your gaming mouse is if it's logitech or final mouse you want to copy the name of that mouse and you want to put it between the brackets just like so and then you do it for the second command so what the first command does is to enable or disable mouse acceleration so in my case it is set from 0 to 1 this means that the mouse acceleration is disabled for you it might be 1 to 0 if that's the case just change it from 0 to 1 and by doing so you will disable mouse acceleration the second command is going to be a personal preference thing and what this command does is to adjust the speed of your mouse and this command not only applies for Genshin Impact but for any game that requires mouse and keyboard and adjusting the speed of the cursor is pretty much important if your cursor speed is a little bit too slow when you swipe the mouse you can use 2.5 for example and this will actually increase the cursor speed or if you have a huge mousepad like me then you may want to actually lower this number so for me it's going to be negative 0.3 i find this to be the best if you want to you can go lower than that so negative 0.5 or 6 so like i said this is going to be a personal preference thing once you are done you want to save it as an sh file so it's going to be a bash script for the name you can use whatever name you want in this case i typed it mouse excel then go to your home directory because that's where you most likely saved the bash script file once you found it open the terminal and then you want to launch this bash script in your terminal you can simply drag the bash script and then put it in your terminal and then you want to type enter and congratulations 
you have disabled mouse acceleration and you are able to adjust the cursor speed of your mouse. This is going to be the second final optimization. The last thing we are going to do is to set up a frame limiter for Genshin Impact. On Windows, you would need to use MSI After Bender that came bundled with RTSS. And RTSS is simply an overlay that allows you to monitor pretty much your CPU, GPU, the temperatures and even the clock speeds. Of course, it can do way more than just showing simple statistics on your computer. Unfortunately, RTSS will not work on Linux, but you can use an alternative application that allows you to set up a frame limiter, show statistics, and be able to even record videos. And that is called Mango HUD or FPS Mango HUD to be specific. Now, we'll not be installing FPS Mango HUD. And one of the reasons why is because it doesn't come with a nice GUI or open interface. This means after installing the Mango HUD, you would have to go to home directory, look for the comp file, and you have to manually tweak the settings that you need for it to work. Instead, we're going to install Go Overlay or G Overlay. This comes with a nice GUI bundled with FPS Mango HUD that allows you to simply customize whatever settings you need for it to work. To install Go Overlay, you want to open the terminal, then copy paste this in your terminal and hit enter. Once you are in the clear, then you want to simply type sudo apt install go overlay and then hit enter. As you currently see, I have it pretty much installed, but I have unmet dependencies. And to fix these dependencies, I'm going to have to type sudo apt fix broken install in order to install these libraries. But for you, once you hit yes on your terminal and once G overlay is installed, you want to go to your start menu and type go overlay or G overlay. And you should be able to see a nice GUI that came bundled with FPS Mango HUD. So setting a frame limiter is actually fairly simple. All you want to do is you want to go to the FPS limiter and you should be able to see the 60 and the other frame limiters you can also set. But for Genshin Impact, we're simply going to set it to 60, then you're done. And that's pretty much it. The rest is going to be personal preference. So you may want to go to the extra section and then you want to adjust which statistics you want to see when you're playing your favorite games. And in addition, you can also use VSync if you're having some screen tearing issues. So you want to turn the Vulkan VSync on and the OpenGL VSync on as well. The great part about this is that you don't even need Go Overlay to run in the background. You can simply close the application, open Genshin Impact, and you should be able to see the statistics of your CPU, GPU, and RAM. The same thing will apply to Steam. So this means any game you'll be playing, whether it's on Lotris, Steam, or any launcher really, you should be able to see the Mango HUD literally running in all of your games. So with that, you should be able to play Genshin Impact at 60 FPS without any frame deviation, screen tearing, or any micro status. So this is before when I didn't set the frame limiter and VSync in Mango HUD. And this is after I set the frame limiter and VSync in Mango HUD. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you play Genshin Impact on Linux. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment below. With that being said, it's your boy Jewelry, and I am signing out.